All right, so welcome back to Grow Your Own. Uh, we're working on an Apollo 125cc uh, kickstart bike. Uh, this bike's got four-speed transmission, um, 125cc engine on it, or 124cc engine, and it is locked up solid. Um, bought it from a kid. He said that uh, he didn't know he was supposed to put oil in it when he got it. And uh, it will not kick over at all. Um, it shifts through the gears. And sure enough, it didn't have any oil in it when I got it. So. Yep, so that's neutral. One, two, three. I think it shifts through all the gears. Um, we're going to pull it apart and see what's going on with it. I have a feeling the whole engine's locked up. Uh, and if so, I've got a donor engine I can put on here. And it may only be a three speed. That might be the wrong cover. Um, but we're going to put it over on the bench. Go ahead and pull the engine off, check the top end. If it's just the top end, we'll order a new piston, drop in a new piston, put it back together, and hopefully it'll fire up and run okay. If uh, we take the top end off and the valves are trashed or the um, bottom end is all locked up and seized, then we're just going to put on the donor engine and call it a day, put it back together, and uh, get it back out there for sale. So we're going to take it apart, start draining all the fluids out of it, and um, go to town. Okay, so hopefully everybody saw that on the time lapse. Um, I meant to switch it over to regular footage when I went to take off the um, the last section of the top end, but uh, I forgot to do it. I got all excited and didn't do it. So, but anyway, hopefully you saw it on the time lapse, and it looks like the bottom end of the engine is still good. Um, the piston, however, is completely frozen on the shaft um, it won't tilt or move at all on the wrist pin and the rings are completely gone uh, the inside of the cylinder looks to be okay i'll show you that in a minute uh, the piston looks to have taken most of the damage and um, 
it, it looks like it might be savable. So sort of excited about that. Uh, might just be able to throw a new piston on there and be good to go. But I'm going to try to kick it over and see if the piston moves when I uh, use the kickstand. Oh yeah, it moves just fine. So, yep. so it's moving around in there. I'm going to get my pliers and pull that clip out and see if I can pull the wrist pin out. So I got my little pliers, grab that wrist pin clip, pull that out, and I'm going to see if I can push the wrist pin through from the other side. This ball joint press set up with a uh, 11 30 seconds socket pressing up against the wrist pin. We've got it hooked to a socket wrench. We're going to try to turn this and see if we can push that wrist pin out the other side. Safety glasses. Hey, I'm going to use the noisy thing, okay? Alright, so we've got our eye protection, our ear protection on. We had to break out the big guns. Uh, but we were able to get it to start to move. Uh, I just took it apart and checked and put an adapter on it to give me a little bit more depth. Uh, but it is starting to move out the other side. I can show you that real quick. And that one circlet that didn't want to come out, it came out. You can see the wrist pin is starting to come out, which is really slow. I tried doing it by hand uh, with a, just a ratchet and it would not come out. So I haven't used the torque wrench. 
We started with the, the you know, the handheld plug in, or lithium, you know, but that wasn't working. So I got out the big guy. And just in case anybody wanted to know, I, that's the one it is. But, um, let's, let's give it a shot and see if it's going to come out. So we're going to give it one more go, or give it another go, and see if we can't get it to move a little further. But I'm going to have to get another extension or something to put on there. It looks like to be able to push that further through there. That's crazy. It's still not coming out. shot so it happens free it is free so this is what we were working with it's all galled up won't go through okay. <laughs> might not be able to get it back up <laughs> <laughs> 